Over the past few days, I have uploaded several videos with theories about the Jon Snow series, the Game of Thrones sequel. Many of you have contacted me, asking if the series is confirmed, and if I have any details about its production. When will the series be released? In this video, we will not be theorizing or speculating what might be coming, but we will be presenting the official news about this production. The Game of Thrones sequel. Jon Snow. If you want to know everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Before we start with this review, if you want to participate in our Funka Pops giveaway, you must subscribe to this channel, like this video, and tell us what was your favorite moment from Season 1 of The House of the Dragon. The winner will be announced this November 20th. On June 16th of this year, the Hollywood Reporter website published an exclusive where it stated not only that HBO was working on a Game of Thrones sequel, but that it would be about Jon Snow, which would be reinterpreted by Kit Harington. According to this news, the Jon Snow series is in pre-production, but still in its initial stage. That is, the story, the series style, the characters, and everything else that goes with it is still being decided. This news came as a surprise to many, and others simply considered it a rumor. It could be that Kit Harington was only in talks with HBO, and that this idea was leaked to the public. Perhaps the Jon Snow series did not exist yet. The rumors disappeared, but then people close to the production or the actor began to talk. One of the first voices to confirm the existence of this project was Amelia Clark, the actress who interpreted Daenerys, which stated that she knew a Game of Thrones sequel was being worked on, and that this was a project created by Kit Harington. Days later, the creator of the Game of Thrones universe himself made a statement through his website, where he says the following about Jon Snow's series, and I quote, Since the news of Jon Snow's development broke, I've been getting requests for comments. So, Yes, there is a Jon Snow series in development. The Hollywood Reporter story was largely correct. Our working title for the series is Snow. Snow has been in development almost as long as the other three, but for some reason it was never announced and never leaked until now. But yes, it's true. This wasn't an official announcement from HBO, so it looks like there was another type of leak. There's not much more I can say. Not until HBO gives me the green light. It seems that Amelia Clark has already mentioned that Snow was Kit's idea, in a recent interview. Yes, it was Kit Harrington who brought us the idea. I can't tell you the names of the writers or directors of the series, as it hasn't been given the go-ahead for publication yet. But Kit brought them too, his own team, and they're great. There are various rumors about my involvement, or lack thereof. I'm involved, as I am with the Hedge Knight, the Sea Snake, 10,000 Ships, and all the animation TV shows. Kit's team has visited me here in Santa Fe and worked with me and my own team of brilliant and talented writers, consultants to put the show together. The four successor shows are still in the scripting stage. Outlines and treatments have been written and approved, scripts have been written, notes have been given, second and third drafts have been written. So far, that's about it. That's the way television works. Please note, nothing has been given the green light yet, and there is no guarantee when, or if, it will be done. George Martin's words are filled with much wisdom, as in the past. Other Game of Thrones series have been cancelled before seeing the light of day, as happened with the Game of Thrones prequel, Blood Moon, which was cancelled after spending $30 million on its pilot. However, the end of the House of the Dragon changed everything. When Game of Thrones ended, many fans were disappointed, and there was not a positive vibe to expand this universe. But the premiere of the House of the Dragon shows that people were eager to return to this universe. And this opens the door to other series. 
HBO has just confirmed that they have in their hands one of the most important and lucrative franchises that currently exist. And just as we know that companies do not usually approve all projects, we know that when something works, these companies usually explode it, just as in the case of Marvel, which today we have multiple movies and annual series. I believe that all the series that have been announced in this universe will be given the green light, and soon we will be watching them. Now, what does all this mean? Out of the multiple projects that exist, in my opinion the ones that we will most likely see announced soon with some teaser trailer, are the Jon Snow series and the Corlys Valerian series. These are the safest bets for the company. Other series such as Nymeria, and the animated series, are very different from Game of Thrones, and it may just be like Blood Moon, they will end up being discarded. However, Snow and Corlys represent a great economic opportunity for the company. In the past few months, it was announced a Game of Thrones convention, created by Warner Brothers, which coincidentally will feature the participation of Kit Harington in an exclusive panel for the press. This panel will take place on December 9th. It is there where we expect the official date of Snow's series to be revealed. But to all this, what has the actor himself said about this series? In a podcast where Kit was a guest, he was asked the question about the new series of Game of Thrones, to which the actor answered the following. The only thing I can tell you is, I know nothing. Although these words for a casual viewer would be a way to rule out his role in the series, really his words had something else. During several occasions in Game of Thrones, we saw how Igret told Jon Snow that he knew nothing. You know nothing, Jon Snow. By the actor saying this, it is a direct reference to his character of Snow. It is not a way to deny or confirm the news, it is a way to evade the question, but referring to his character. In this podcast it is mentioned that George Martin has spoken about the series, because he is allowed to speak, but at the moment he can't say anything. Again, hopefully we will finally see the actor talking about this series next month. This is the status we have on the Jon Snow series. And what we are left with is to speculate the stories or characters that will be shown in this sequel. But tell me what you think about all this? Do you expect to see the Jon Snow series? Do you think it's a good idea? And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on The Three-Eyed Raven.